Coming to Edmonton August 22nd to the 26th at the Collingwood B Arena, Jason Strudwick, former NHL defenseman with the Oilers, he's going to be putting on a uh, building defenseman summer camp. Joining us is uh, former NHL defenseman turned TV host, Mr. Jason Strudwick. Jason, give us a rundown on what the camp offers. Uh, when I retired, I, was, I, I wanted to get involved in, in uh, you know, like youth hockey. It served me well, so I started helping out some teams with their D-men, and then People say, no, it's a, there's very few camps that are run, you know, just for, specifically for DMET. So I said, why don't you start a camp up? So sure enough, I did. And I never thought I'd be doing this when I retired, but I, I love it. I mean, I actually, I love working with the kids. The best part is the kids. You know, get on ice with them and work with them. And you can really see quite clearly, you know, when there's things that have to be adjusted. And when they take to it and use it, and you come, they say come back and they're excited because it works. It makes a big difference. So. It's a lot of fun, and this, this summer will be uh, August 22nd and 20, 26th at uh, Collingwood Arena, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be uh, all about uh, just the defensive. It's a very hard position to learn. You know, right now, it's sexy to work on skill and dangling and all this stuff, but I really believe it's fundamental that D has to know, and uh, that's the kind of stuff I try to uh, work on in, uh, this time of year. Struds, you spent uh, just about 17 years in the pros. What makes a great defenseman? Oh, man. Well, today you got to be able to skate. You know, you have to, the, the forwards, there's no holding up. You know, when they removed the obstruction rules in 2004, 2005, it changed everything. You know, you had big, strong defense, and now all of a sudden you had to be a fast defense. So you got to go back there quickly, be able to skate, get the puck, and transition the puck up to your forwards. And that's really important. And I know that's the hardest thing to do in hockey. The scoring, there's no doubt that's tough. But when you're going back with your back to the plate, your the puck's wobbling sometime against the wall. Uh, there's a guy chasing you down who's just as fast as you are trying to take you down. It's very, very kind of, it, it's, it's a really tough play. And I think it's, it's, it's not easy to learn, but it's just repetition. And then you can make small adjustments to players to make it easy for them or easier as they move along in their careers. Strudz, if people want to take part in your camp, uh, where can they go? Well, they can look at my website. It's at jasonstrudwick.com. Uh, we're filling up pretty quick. Uh, you know, I, 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 try to, I, I don't like to have more than uh, 18 or 20 kids on the ice with my, myself and my two instructors. I like to keep it small. I like to keep the kids uh, busy on the ice. Um, and we, we go from Adam up to Midget. And uh, it's, it's most likely going to be during the day. And then we'll have, uh, afterwards, we have an hour of off-ice training with Body by Bennett. And they train uh, the Oilers. So they're excellent uh, the way they, they work uh, they work guys out. Now that would be, again, specific for D-men. So, you know, working on their footwork and drills they can do. And then uh, pretty much works out well because the next uh, week or two, the kids are right in the training camp. So it's kind of a nice time to brush up on getting in shape, and uh, your D-man skills uh, heading into camp. Jason, the seventh and final game tonight of the uh, Eastern Conference Final. Who are you choosing, uh, Pittsburgh or uh, Tampa Bay? Oh, man, it's been a great series, hasn't it? I mean, I, I love it. And, I, you know, when I first when they first came in, Sidney Crosby and Ovechkin, I'm not going to lie, I was a big Ovechkin fan. I loved them. But as they've gotten older, I've actually become uh, more of a Sidney Crosby fan. Not that I don't like Gogi anymore, but... Sidney Crosby, to me, is a guy who, he's a lot like Wayne Gretzky. I remember people used to love or hate Wayne Gretzky, and I find the same with Sid. But, you know, he didn't have a lot of success in round two, but he's been very good this, this series. In fact, I think he has uh, three game winning goals, I believe, in this series, and he's been so good. And uh, he showed up last game big time, let his team, so what did I get to a game seven? Uh, I think what Tampa's done is incredible, um, but I do think Pittsburgh has a slight edge. I think their big guns with Kessel and Sid and Malkin, Latang, I think those guys really want this. And I think they're going to get it done tonight. And I also worry a little bit on Tampa. Vasilevsky never played an elimination game. Young goalie yeah. going up against another young goalie about Matt Murray. But I, I do think tonight we find that... Uh, that uh, Pittsburgh wins it. Struds, I know you got to get going and go host uh, Dinner TV on City in just a few minutes, but, you know, i got to ask you, you were at the final game at Rexall Place when the Oilers uh, said goodbye to the building. Personally, are you looking forward to the new barn, and what was the mood like at Rexall that night? Well, since, ever since I heard about the new barn, I've been excited. I've been looking forward to it. I'm excited to see what that happened. But as, you know, we kind of get within two weeks of the... Uh, Two weeks of the, of, the, of the day, you know, the last Olympic game, it, it kind of got emotional. And I was lucky to benefit from both as a fan, going to watch games there, going up, watching and idolizing the Oilers, and then getting to play for them. So to see that old lady, Northlands, I'll always call it Northlands, it's not Rexall to me. Uh, when Northlands, uh, that final game, we had all the guys were back there, we were kind of talking about funny stories that happened there, the memories we had of that building. Uh, it, was, it was quite emotional. I was surprised at the reaction. I think every all the guys felt that way. Uh, it doesn't change the excitement we have for the new ring, but 
you know, there's so many great things happen in that old building, and they don't get transferred over. You can move the banners, but the memories aren't there. It's, this wasn't where Wayne Gretzky scored his 15th or 9th. This wasn't where Mark Messier knocked someone's head into the 10th row. Right. So it's good, it's going to be a different, a, a much different feel. But, I mean, I'm an Edmontonian first and foremost, and I love what this new rink has done to the downtown and what it continues to do. Because I've seen it in cities like St. Paul that was literally a ghost town. Then they put that rink in there, it exploded. Columbus, um, the Staples Center down in L.A., it'll make such a difference to how vibrant a downtown can be, and we'll see that starting next October. If your kids are interested in taking part in Jason Strudwick's uh, Building Defenseman Summer Camp, again, August 22nd to 26th at Collingwood Arena at Edmonton, you can check out their uh, website, jasonstrudwick.com. Strud, always a pleasure. Anytime, give me a call.